Hello, Nikki from Motor for you. Today we have a Range Rover Velar. This is a core finished in the color Chorus Gray. If we take a look around the car, you can see that on this car we get 22 inch alloy wheels. If we then start to make our way around the rest of the car, to the rear of the car, we have privacy glass. And as we come round to the back of the car, you can see just coming across its rear bumper here, we have rear park distance. If we then pop open the tailgate, Once inside the car, you can see that we have electric windows all around with your window lock and child lock button just below. We also have electric mirrors with the locking system just above. We then on this car get a multifunctional steering wheel. On the left hand side, we have volume, changing of stations or tracks, telephone, favourites button and voice control. If we press the menu button, you can see this turns into a keypad and this correlates to the screen in front of the driver. On the right hand side is your cruise control where we have the option of a limiter as well as lane keep assist. We then have automatic wipers on this car as well as automatic lights. If we look to the centre console, we have an armrest just here which we can open each side individually. We have a storage compartment in here with two USB ports and a 12 volt socket. We then get two cup holders which is where I currently have the key as this car has got key to start. If we then look to the lower screen, you can see that on this car we have heated seats. This is for the front passenger and for the driver and as you can see they get three different heat options. If we then go to the climate, we get dual climate control within this car with the option of AC which is just there. To change where the airflow comes from, we use these three just here to change the fan speed. We press this button here and this dial will then turn into the fan speed. We also have your different program selectors on the vehicle part of the screen. So here you can see we get the options of the different terrain responses that you can choose from. If we then look to the main screen on this car, we do get a visual representation of the rear park distance, as we can see on the screen just there. We then have the home page, where here we have your AM slash FM, as well as your connectivity. If we then go to the next page, we have the option of connecting your phone via Bluetooth. You're then able to make and receive calls through the car, as well as access a couple of the other apps on the screen. We then have the media app. So we have the different sources of radio and the media library. We also have the different bands of DAB, FM and AM. If we then go back, we then have the last page where here we have your eco data. This will give you a rating out of five, five being the best rating that you can get and it will rate you on your energy impact on the car. We also have the contacts app, which is one of the apps that you can access when you are connected to the the screen. We also have the voice control. Where we get tutorials, commands and voice tags. We also have the 4x4i, where here we have the off-road information. So here we get the terrain response information. So this gives you a little briefing about each of the programs that you can select and as to which one will be relevant for what you're looking for. We also have the slope information and the wheel information. We also have the low traction launch as well. If we then have a look at the seats of the car. Here we have the driver's side seat, which is a part leather, part Alcatara seat. We do also have a sliding panoramic roof going across the top just there. We have the buttons just above the centre console there to operate the sliding roof. And we also get an electric blind as well. If we then come around to the back, we have three seats in the back of this car. As we can see, they have Isofix running across the bottom and we do also get a 12 volt, so 12 volt socket in the back. If you have any questions or queries on this car, please feel free to contact us at motor for you Alternatively, you can give us a call on 01580 879 666.